Hello friends and welcome back to the channel. It's Angela and you probably noticed that I haven't been around a little bit and as I said this is why our December dailies are very free. We can do them when we want to and uh, you know you never know what it's gonna pop up and this time of year is busy and things popped up and I was a little bit preoccupied. So we're going to do today is a little bit different. We will cover day 14, 15, 16, and 17. We'll do day 17 together. And then later today, I'll come back with another video and do day 18. So that's what my plan is. But I wanted to show you what I have done because I didn't get to, I knew that this would, I would not have enough time to do every single day. So I'll show you what I did get done. First of all, let's look at day 13. This is what I did. Remember when I was in Omaha, I didn't have all my resources, but we were doing the advent. And day 13, um, I don't even remember. <laughs> oh, it was gingerbread, advent, and I will probably remember the other one in a moment. Maybe it was mistletoe or hall. I don't think it was either one because we have that coming up. But so as a, as you remember, we made this. These were um, little advents. I should have started with 12 at the top and worked my way down, but oh well, I didn't. So I had cut that out. I told you what I had planned to do was take a, um, well, do I have one lying around here? I know I do. Anyway, a, pa a piece of packaging. And so I just used, you know, something like that was on this that I could slide things into. So I went ahead and did that. When I did the, let me just tell you how I did it. So I kind of lined it up and then I just took a Sharpie and marked where exactly each one of these would be. So it was even. And then I started on this end and I filled it and then I sewed straight up. And then I filled the next one and sewed straight up. And then the last one, of course, I didn't need to sew. And then I sewed across it. And then I did the next one and just worked my way all the way up. And the result will be below. And then what I did was I sewed this all the way around just willy-nilly and just to secure it because it is kind of thick. There's stuff in there. And then I made this into a belly band. So that is what we got. So here is what we have. We have some ornaments and I just used what I had. I didn't go out and buy anything. That's supposed to be a Christmas tree, but it's moved. So, you know, you have to use your imagination. A little Christmas bulb. We've got a peppermint. This one's kind of stuck in there. Let's see, what's this one? Some wreaths. A star. And this was super fun and super easy. Those are packages. This is, and this one looks like it didn't get more ornaments, different colors. This is another ornament. And now it's, well, no, it's not upside down. It just hasn't come down there. <laughs> uh, that says Merry Christmas. Should have put that on the first one too, but oh well. More Christmas trees. And then Merry Christmas. So this was really simple to do and super, super fun. So I hope that gives you some inspiration. And sorry we didn't actually do this fully together, but... There you have it. So that is day 13. And I have also made the decision, I think, that some of these are going to get used in my Ideals magazines before even the, the um, December Daily is up because I want to start working on those and getting them all, all done. So day 14, the prompts were decorations, reindeer, and Santa. So I used this. Uh, this was a digital... And I apologize, like my head's not really with it. <laughs> um, and by the way, thank you to all of you who gave well wishes and wished uh, Dave a quick recovery. Um, we all very, very much appreciate it. And he is doing much better. He is um, being a good patient at home now. So that is awesome. So what we did is... Um, I just did... I just ripped some of this. This was a digital... I think this might be KB and Friends or the Junk Journal Studio. I, I shouldn't even tell you because I don't even remember. Every, everything was a blur. I did this, you know, just uh, one night when 
or one afternoon when Dave was snoozing and I just needed to do some crafting and when I was back in my craft room, so. Um, uh, then Santa, this was just from an Ideals magazine, so I just popped that in there. And decorations, I just went with, this was, this was a shoe clip. Like, you know, the a button you put over your a button. Yeah, a button cover, not a shoe clip. Um, and then I just left the back uh, blank. I added a little um, tag. And then this, this is from one of my digi digitals, Don't Get Your Tinsel in a Tangle. I thought that was kind of cute with um, decorations and such so pretty simple but there you go so there's day 14 day 15 was music to do and christmas bulbs so what i did is i have this 1908 uh this is from one of the uh from one of the banks or accounting uh ledgers i had it was the closest i could find to to-do list and i didn't want to make a to-do list i thought this was cute so just use your imagination. This is a piece that I had. Oh gosh, I hope I didn't glue that on. I didn't, did I? Why is it glued? Oh, there we go. So this is a pocket I made some time ago, but it had the Christmas bulbs in it. Um, I just did that really simple. This is actually fabric ribbon. So that's what I used in there, but we've got the reindeer, some more music I tucked in there, and the Christmas bulbs as well, so. That is that. And this is just a wraparound tag. Oh, let's see. It goes like this. Hang on a second. And then I just had another little journal card. And a, another little tag. Hold on, I gotta shut this door a little bit better. Okay. Dave got a phone call, so he's visiting. I'm like, can you keep it down? <laughs> uh, so that is day 15, music to do and Christmas bulb. And then day 16, I wanted to kind of mix it up a little bit with some colors. And so I am gonna show you how I made this. Uh, and I think... Which day am I doing that? I think on Sunday. So on the last day, I'll show you how I made this. But what this is, is it's an expandable pocket. And then this is just wrapped around and it is also kind of a pocket. I didn't put a little tab in there, but um, we can stick stuff in there if we should wish to. So this is from an Ideals magazine. So was this. Um, this was just some scrap paper that I had. And then I just tucked in a little angel greeting card. And then I made this, which I'm kind of in love with. This is... <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I don't know. I do know, but I don't. Uh, anyway, I have... I had um, cut out the center of this. I used just some... This is some little... Uh, yarny kind of stuff. It looks kind of like snowballs. And then this was from another digital. And then I just made it into a journal card, which is super fun and sucked that in there. I just had to put this little black lab on there with a scarf because, you know, he was cute and I kind of liked the contrast of it. And it kind of goes with this little red here. So that's what I did. And then this is our Rolodex for the day. Just a little bit, little angel. Remember, I got those at the thrift shop. And then there's just part of uh, the, I was going to say lyrics, words to, it was the night before, or when is it? The night before Christmas, right? Jeez. All right. So now we're all caught up. Now we can move into today's prompts, which are uh, what? Christmas tree? Tr no, I just did that. No, I did angel, scarf, and weather. Today is Christmas tree tradition and shop. So I went back to uh, some of my Stamperia papers. 
This is a digital from, I believe, the Junk Journal Studio. I believe this is too. So what I did, I started working on it. I'm like, what am I doing? I, I said that I was going to do this on camera. So forgive me. I, I One of these days, I'm going to pull it all back together. But until then, you just get discombobulated, Angela. And so please be, <laughs> please be patient. Please give me some grace. Uh, this I made into a belly band as well. This was from an Ideals uh, magazine too. This was a greeting card that I got from uh, Mystical Misty. I left this blank. Uh, I did ink around it with some bubble gum close to my heart inks, and I just put on there the magic tree. I did put an eyelet in thinking maybe we might use something from over here. I have this from one of my necklaces. This necklace is turning out to be very good for a lot of things. So I thought that would be, I mean, it's a lot, but I'm kind of okay with it. So we're just going to go um, through and see what we've got. I did, I do have tags. This is, uh, I don't know what this is from, from a magazine somewhere. This is from an Ideals magazine as well. And I thought that was cute for tradition, you know, coming down in the morning and... Santa has been there. This is from an old newspaper in Iowa. It just says Christmas gifts, which I thought that covers our shopping. And then this was just in my stash from ephemera that I made last year. And it goes with um, that kit. So I thought, well, why not? So we might just stick that in there like that for the moment. And then this, all I did, well, what happened was I covered this okay just like it was but then I had the reverse of it and I was like well, why don't I do something with it and what I'm going to show you is a little bit different on Sunday but same premise so all I did is what I had left oh there's a little pearl uh is I had enough that I could actually make the gussets into it so I just kind of looked here so that it fit right in that little notch and then I just cut, um, I measured it and cut it. And that looks like it needs to be cut just a smidgey more. There we go. And then angled them or at the corners. And now we're just going to glue it down and then we're going to fill it up. And, you know, I know it's not high tech. I, I had really good intentions when I started this to do some really really fun um, techniques while we were doing this. I am trying to use some of my uh, different, you know, templates and things that I've made throughout the year, but it's, it's hit or miss because to be honest, I'm kind of playing nurse lately, which by the way, I would be a horrible nurse. <laughs> Dave thinks that I'm doing fabulous, but I'm like, oh my goodness. Like, I, I, you know, after being around doctors and nurses for a week, I'm telling you, I have a newfound respect that is for sure for what they do. Wow. Oh. You know, I haven't even really been in a hospital. Um, well, I don't think I've been in a hospital since I had Demi. So, because when my grandmother was, or Mo was in the hospital, we couldn't go because it was during COVID. So, so there we have it. Now it's all together. So now we have a pocket here. We have the belly band here, but when we look at it, we've got all those little tabs, which I think is super, super cute. Yes, I know that the Christmas trees are sideways. I'm fine with it. I'm absolutely fine with it. We're going to press this down for a second while we talk. So I hope while I, I was MIA that you guys have all been doing well. Um, I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to figure everything out. As you know, I do think though, uh, I still, we probably will not do a live sale in um, this month just because I, it's already the ninth. Um, I don't think that I, I don't think I have it in me to do one. So I had a lot of stuff, a lot of cool Christmas stuff too. Um, but I just think we're going to have to wait until the first of the year. And then I'll just tuck away all that Christmas stuff. We're going to make a belly band or a yeah, belly band out of this. This was also from 
my friend Misty. It was on one of my packages. Um, and then we'll just tuck all that Christmas stuff away and save it for next year, and it will be great. One thing I would like to do, uh, which I don't, I don't know that I'll do it on camera, but um, I have a bunch of stuff, and I my intent was to to do some assemblages with some vintage pieces and ah uh, I know that um you know for you guys you want ephemera and that kind of thing so there's no real rush for me to do it but I wanted to do um some kind of kitschy home decor Christmas things um for either for my Etsy shop or for sales but I knew that um it probably wasn't necessary for me to do them for you guys. So I thought, well, maybe I'll do some DIYs and do some on camera. We'll see how it goes. Um, we just, we will see. Well, so this was my tradition sheet. This is, I think, Susan Branch and it has our family. God bless us, everyone. Memories from the year. I thought, well, I'll just leave that on there. But it says, getting the tree, visiting, holiday baking, hanging the stockings and eggnog. Our tradition, memories are made of this. And then you can fill it out. So what I thought we would do is just fold it in three so we could tuck it in that in that uh, file folder. I think it will fit. <laughs> I know. Yeah, it will. It's plenty small. So we'll put that there. We're going to let that dry a little bit. And then the other thing that I loved was, um, this was also Christmas tree. I had this Christmas tree and I was like, well, that's way too much. So we're not going to use that. We'll put it in the little overflow thing. Uh, my thought was to put it, but I think we'll just do it this way with the reindeer. So then it can be just a journaling card. I'm not going to do anything with it. Normally what you could do is make this into a pocket or just fold it over for, um, so it's two sided, but I think I'm just going to stick this in here. I need to pull that out because I think it kind of looks cute. It looks cuter when it's the Christmas tree side, but because I want that ornament to kind of pop out of there, I gotta make sure I get this. There we go. So now we flip open, they can right here, pull it out and write. Super, super cute. My, my thought was just layer this bad boy up, and do all kinds of things with it. Let's see if we're dry now enough. And then we're just gonna put in our little shopping Add, I think we might do it like that, just for the fun of it. Nah, we'll put it like that. And we've got this tag with our traditions on it. No, I don't like that. We're just going to put it this way. <laughs> and then we've got another Christmas tree, and we've got a loaded up index card. Super cute. So you could just stick this right on the end of your journal. And voila. Oh, we forgot this. Angelina. I wonder what would happen if we just... Maybe we'll put it here. Well, yeah, that will work. Well, it's not going to matter because you can't see it. All right, we'll just stick it in here. So now whoever is the recipient will get a whole bundle of goodness. I just moved that. Well, that was quick. <laughs> I didn't expect it to be that fast. I wonder, because we're only at 18 minutes, should we just do day 18 and then I have one video? Why not? I hope I, I, hope I know what I'm doing. What am I doing? Stocking, letter to Santa, and toys. Okay, this is my stack of stuff, and I don't know that I've really... Oh, oh, wait. I wanted to put this on there. We're going to put that on real quick. Let me get a... Pinkish. Bulb. And put this on there. I know this is pretty simple, but after I put all that stuff in there, now I'm not going to be able to. There we go. Hang on. 
Okay. Okay, change of plans. Pivot, Angela, pivot. <laughs> All right, let me put that away. So what did I say? Stocking, letter to Santa, and toys. What do I have? Oh, I had this. I already did this. And remember, I don't mind my Rolodex cards being sideways because you can use them to just stick them in. They just still look cute. That's all there is to it. That one's done. Stockings. Th this we did earlier, remember, on an earlier video. This is uh, a little... This is from a book, I think. It is It is Christmas Eve and Natalie's too excited to sleep. She lies in bed and tries to imagine what Christmas Eve was like 100 years ago, and it goes on to say. So... Uh, this was a letter to Santa. I don't know that we'll be able to use it in there. I did already cover our stocking. I had those digitals and I love them. And then, so I don't know, this one's awfully big. It probably won't work. This was, I have a whole bunch of these. I just used my watercolor um, markers and did this. This was a Bath and Body Work envelope that I had put some ribbons on because there was like glue spots there. So my thought was we could we could do something where we can still tuck things in here. And then maybe just use this as a tuck. And then we also have this is homemade toys this Christmas. So I thought it would be cute if we used this title and then maybe some of these photos and just backed them as little as little journal cards and then tucked them in this side. So that would mean that what we first need to do is just glue here because we want to make sure that then this can open up. I wonder if I could just, I could probably make that smaller and just rip around it so that it will fit in there. It would be cute, wouldn't it? Let's just try it. This one I tried to burn. You can't even tell. We'll just see what we can do. We're going to cut or rip real close to the... Oh, why is that like that? Oh, there's... On the page that I took this from in the book, it was ripped. It was ripped and somebody taped it back together. You know what? Let's just do this loosely fussy cut it because I really do like this it was a knitting it's supposed to be like knitting you know can make it work. I'm thinking here. Let's just go down a little bit farther. Let's make this into a pocket. We got enough. There's enough uh, weight to it that I think it'll be fine. I could have made it into a tuck, but I think might get a little bit too abused. All right, let's just stick this in there so we remember that it's a pocket. I feel like it needs something up here. I don't know. That might go in there too. We'll leave this one empty for now. Oh, I feel like I should... Let's just punch this. I wonder if it'll go through this ribbon, you think? Probably not. Negative. Oh, no. Sorry. Oh, bad choice, Angela. I should have known better. Hang on. Close your ears. Oh, my gosh. No, I did not. <laughs> this is my good punch, too. Well, so much for that. You know, and I'd already done a, 
pocket in this. Oh, that makes me sad. It will come out. I can get it out, but I'm not going to do that with you guys. That would be, you can't handle that. So just imagine that that's going to be wrapped around here. Goodness gracious. And in the meantime, so that'll wrap around and then we can stick that inside of there. That looks cute like it is. I'll show you on the next one when I fix the problem. And then let's do some of these. So let's see. I don't think I want to use this until I get that envelope fixed. So I'll just do that off camera. Oh, let's see what's on the back though. So we've got, I love this about with the artist and this is clothespins and that's a buggy or a, what do you call those? What? And wagon, something that says termates eight to make open air doll carriage. I don't know. The only one is that other, that one. So we'll just go with this. Less streaming, but more sentiment. Maybe more Santa. Okay, so we'll save that one aside. Let's just use... I'm thinking what I want to do. I'm going to cut this one out. I really like this one. And so I think we'll use this one and then this side of it. Let's just do this. Let's just make our lives easier. I kind of like that, just long like that. And let's do this one more squatty. For furniture making of all kinds, the fruit crate has no par. Use it for club chairs and or backyard stuff. It's a, they're doing DIY. All right, should we see if we can use, I love this. This is from Triple B Vintage. Let's use that on here. And I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use this because sometimes on, on your dyed papers, it doesn't stay quite as well with your glue stick. My, at least mine don't, I don't know. I cannot believe that. I think if I take it out in the other room on the carpet, it'll be okay. There we go. And then we're just going to cut around it. And then we'll ink it up. And I did get my, what's it called? Lumberjack plaid. So I just bought the Distress Oxide and the re because I really like, I am, I use a lot of red. Red's one, my, well, red's my favorite color. Um, and I like this to look a little, well, maybe we should have made this into a tag. Let's do it. Let me use the little one. But I think with some tenacity, <laughs> I can make, I'm, I mean, that's my good punch. I use it every day. I should have known better. But no. No. Angela, you just went for it. Where's my punch? My whole punch. Okay. Let's just, we got this laying here. Let's just stick it on there. And I, I think you guys remember, I did. I decided not to necessarily put numbers on it. I'm keeping them kind of organized because, you know, so I know what day I'm on. But I am not putting them on there because I don't know that I'm going to, I won't use them that way. So, um, you know, this is just a great way for me to build up my stash. Let's see. I don't want to use that one. It's too cute. What else do I have that might fit? That's really big, isn't it? Well, here. Well, that doesn't go with that at all. Oh, and here's the other thing that was that's interesting. Uh, I kept thinking I have to have more 
Uh, I've got to have more Christmas and winter. Um, we're just going to use that. And winter um, papers. Like scrapbook paper and stuff. I'm like, I'm sure of it. And I am going to leave that. I think I'm going to, well, let's, let's ink it first. And I was like, what did I do with that? Because I brought all my Christmas stuff out. Well, when I organized, I had taken all of my like 12 by 12 pads, all of my Stamperia, all of my Cartabella, and I put it on the shelf of scrapbook paper that said holidays. <laughs> well, I forgot I did that. So, and just this morning, I actually recalled that I had done that and retrieved them. So that was good. We're going to leave a little edge there. And we are going to cut this just like it is here. I'm not going to cut this part because I'm going to rip that as well. So now we're just going to tear along that as well. I think it's okay to do it this way. I kind of like to go back and forth. Remember, your tear lines will. There we go. So now we can use this. And it brings a little nostalgia in. Let's see a tiny little spot there. Oh, it sounds like <laughs> Price is Right is on out there. All right. Well, now we have plenty of things to put in here. Once I fix the problemo, maybe we'll put this one in here. And remember, we do have that other envelope pocket in here that we could put things to. So there we have it. We've got stocking, letter to Santa, and toys. So we are good to go. All right, we'll come back tomorrow which will be Saturday, and I will be doing another video, and I will show you the end result after I uh, do a little manhandling of my punch. Um, and again, you guys, thank you all for subscribing. Thanks for your kind comments. Thanks for all your well wishes and sweet um, prayers and emails. And um, I, I mean, I couldn't have done it without you. I did watch a lot of your videos. Um, while I was sitting, I did do, I tried to do a little bit of just random collaging and crafting just to keep my hands busy while I was sitting idle and, um, watching all of you guys who have channels really helped me a lot. So you are a blessing, truly, truly, truly. So until next time, friends, remember to take time to just be, and I'm realizing right now that's really important. <laughs> um, so pra I will practice what I preach. And I wish you all the very best until tomorrow, friends. Cheers.